Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's 6 a.m. today, and uh, we say hi from uh, still partially sleepy Tokyo. We are at Tokyo Station, and we are about to go to our next destination. Take a bus, which will take us to the next place for uh, today. Where is that? I'm not going to tell you yet, but I'm going to give you a few hints. It's a place on the mountain, in the middle of nature. It's very famous for a particular reason here in Japan, and it's gonna be very cold. So stay with us as we go there and see you later. Hello everybody, welcome back and uh, finally we can say hi from our destination. Where are we? Uh, we are at Kusatsu. Kusatsu Onsen is a famous hot spring resort in Japan, one of the most famous. It is very uh, popular for its hot spring water, which have one of the best qualities in Japan. And they are said to cure every illness but love sickness. Now, where is Kusatsu? Geologically speaking, we are uh, around 1,200 meters above the sea level. So very high, as you can see from my surroundings, it's snowy, and it's really uh, cold. This is a very active area from a volcanic point of view, uh, with a lot of volcanic activity. In fact, Kusatsu takes most of his onsen water from the Mount Kusatsu Shirane, which is around 2,600 meters. It's on my back, what you can see. And another interesting thing is that Kusatsu is on the Romantic Road, which is a very famous road in Japan, starting from a city in Nagano, crossing the mountains in Guma and arriving at the city of Utsunomiya in Tochigi. And it's said uh, to have really, really beautiful natural views if you do it by car. So let's go towards the center of Kusatsu and explore the main sites. And um, I will also tell you a little bit more about Kusatsu hot springs tradition. So we came to the center of Kusatsu. This is the heart of the town. And behind me is what is called the Yubatake. What's Yubatake? It's a huge source of natural hot spring water that comes directly from the ground at a very high temperature, actually. It's one of the highest temperature here in Japan, I believe, around 60 degrees Celsius. So what is the function of Yubatake? It is for the water, once it coming from the ground, to cool down by flowing into those canals over there before being distributed to most of the ryokans and bathhouses around this area. So another interesting thing about Kusatsu is that, first of all, it has the highest flow of free water in Japan. And second, the water of Kusatsu is very rich in sulfur, as you can see from my back, and it is one of the most acidic probably one of the highest acid, acid rates in the water in Japan. And uh, this gives you an idea of why Kusatsu has been constantly rated as the first hot spring town in Japan.
we came out from uh, the Nets no You building on my back. The clips that you saw just before were part of the Yumomi ceremony, an uh, old century method that the locals here in Kusatsu have developed to cool down the hot water, the hot spring uh, water, without diluting it with other water. So just cool down by maintaining the same quantity of water. Um, it's become a really nice ceremony, also very touristic, very popular at the same time, but very interesting where the women that you saw performing the, the ceremony dance and uh, use the wooden paddles to steer down, to cool down the water at the same time. So I recommend it. The cost for the ticket was around uh, 7,800 yen for a 30 minutes show. After exploring Kusatsu and the Yubatake in the afternoon, we checked in uh, to our hotel. We had a nice relaxing onsen and then an amazing dinner at an izakaya close to the hotel. Now we are enjoying Kusatsu by night. We stepped just a little bit outside the central area and uh, we have Kusatsu just uh, all for ourselves. There is nobody. The atmosphere is quite magic. We are surrounded by snow, it's minus five, but we are not cold because of the warm onsen that we, we had. It's just amazing to be here. I really love Kusatsu, especially in winter. So it's an amazing way to conclude our night. I want to say you uh, good night, stay with us, because tomorrow we are going to explore another really interesting area.
we arrived at Sainokawara Ko and Sainokawara Park. We walked around 10 minutes from the center of Kusatsu. Uh, as you can see around me, we are in a very interesting place because Sainokawara is a valley. In this case, we are surrounded by the snow. But what is interesting is that all around me, you can see hot spring water coming from small ponds. Mo many of these small ponds are in reality uh, hot spring sources. And the central source, the biggest one where the water comes from and goes into this stream is behind us. There is a place where the water comes from the ground and it's really hot, it's impossible to get closer to that. It's, what, what to say, it's a very interesting place to be surrounded by the hot steam and the snow. It looks quite um, unreal. Hello, uh, we have come to the conclusion of our trip, unfortunately, and our video. Um, we hiked here to the, to the hills and we discovered the natural paradise just above Saino Kawara Park. So let me say you goodbye. It has been a nice and relaxing and refreshing escape in uh, Kusatsu. If you like onsen or you want to discover more about this world, I definitely recommend coming here. So if you liked the video, please consider leaving a like or comment below about what you think of Kusatsu or share it with a friend who wants to visit Japan. As always, thank you very much for uh, coming until here and uh, uh, watching and I'll see you in the next adventure.